Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I just wanted to rant a little bit about CrossFit and why it's canceled finally. At least it probably isn't because even as bad as stuff gets, it still ends up thriving because that's the way the world works. But anyways, yes, I am on a walk with my dog who's whining at another dog at a dog park right now uh, because of this whole situation of staying at home and whatnot. We have plenty of time to go on an hour-long walk twice a day, so I may as well vlog while I do it, right? Um, but anyways, let's get on to the meat of the story. And yeah, by the way, it is raining because even though it is summertime, it is Portland, so it's going to rain 50% of the time at least. Anyways, this is another ranting vlog, although this one will probably be a little less ranty than the previous one, which I only just posted, and it was probably super controversial, and I probably lost like all of my subscribers, but oh well. Um, so basically this one, I want to talk about CrossFit and now as a personal trainer, I have 500 billion things that I want to say about CrossFit, none of which are pertinent to this particular topic. So I'm going to avoid all of those might, uh, I might delve into those at the end again, not pertinent to this particular story. So basically in the climate that we have going on right now, um, which will date this video. So who knows in a few years, people will be like, what? CrossFit wasn't canceled. In fact, it's thriving. It's doing better than ever. And that's just the way of things, unfortunately. <laughs> no matter how awful a person or a company is, sometimes they just thrive. <laughs> but uh, regardless, right now what's going on is, you know, there's the whole Black Lives Matter situation and the COVID situation. And CrossFit, for those who aren't aware, is not just a style of fitness. It's actually a company. Every single gym that has the word CrossFit in it is partially not owned by, but basically like franchised from the company CrossFit, um, which is all owned by one man who's the CEO. And it's not a situation like where if the CEO of Starbucks or any other type of company does or says some you know, not great thing. They can just be voted out. That's this guy is the sole owner of the entire CrossFit brand. And basically CrossFit gyms all have to pay, I think $3,000 a year just to use the name CrossFit in their particular gym or whatever they call it. Um, so this particular fellow is, is CrossFit. I don't know what his name is. I, I, not very well researched. This is just a ranting, rambling video. So uh, I'll leave the facts for you to look up, but, uh, or at least the more detailed facts. The, these facts are that, first of all, most companies have come forward at this point in time and said, yeah, black lives do matter, or, you know, something along those lines, or, or have had something to say about the COVID situation, like, yeah, stay six feet apart, or, you know, when working out, you might want to wear a mask. Just a suggestion, you know, something like that. This fellow and all of CrossFit under his um, presidency, it has remained completely silent. So a lot of these gyms have been reaching out to him via tweet or whatever to say, hey, uh, what, 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 are you going to say something about the BLM stuff or the COVID stuff? And he has been not only flippant, but also outright racist and ignorant. Um, so the thing that most people are familiar with that he said was in response to one of these types of tweets, like, are we going to say anything about Black Lives Matter, the George Floyd situation? He made a terrible joke. And a lot of people are like, yeah, but it was just a joke. Come on, learn to laugh. But um, it was like Floyd-19, so supposedly, eh, this is just a COVID-19 situation, it'll blow over, or whatever his intention was with the joke. Not 100% sure, but it was certainly not helpful. Now, if that's all it was, that's bad, but you know, it will blow over. But basically, that is not all it is. Um, one of the owners of one of these gyms uh, was on a Skype call with him 
and people brought up the the other owners of other crossfit gyms brought up um so what kind of stance should we take with this whole blm thing and and the covid thing and this guy went out of his way to reiterate multiple times i think the number was like five times that he did not mourn george floyd and uh and made other flippant remarks about how COVID is not that bad. And I don't know, You're, you'll, you'll, you'll want to look at it yourself. But the point is, everybody who owns these CrossFit gyms, well, not everybody, but thousands of people who have owned these CrossFit gyms were appalled. And again, they can't just vote this guy out. He's He's a CEO, but it's not that usual sort of way where he can be voted out because he's the sole owner of the whole thing. So he he's there to stay. And apparently he has said and done plenty of things in the past that have made people wish they could vote him out, but it's just not possible. And unfortunately, the only option is they have to disassociate. So they're going to, thousands of gyms have come out and said, we are no longer paying the 3000 a year. We're no longer calling ourselves a CrossFit gym. We'll just have to change our names and no longer be associated with CrossFit in general, which is pretty sad because for a lot of people, CrossFit is the only type of fitness that they have any interest in doing whatsoever. So it's going to take a lot of marketing and education to explain like, these workouts are still CrossFit, it's just we can't use the CrossFit name anymore. And that's, the name is the thing that people understand. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, now, as far as my personal opinions about CrossFit in general, um, it's nuanced. It is, let's start out with the positive. It is, as a personal trainer, I'm always excited to hear that anybody's doing anything fitness related. Um, anything is better than nothing, as long as it's safe <laughs> and effective. Um, CrossFit can certainly be safe and effective, but how to put this delicately so I don't lose all subscribers. Um, most individuals that I know who have done CrossFit have gotten injured. Now, why... Why would that be the case? It's because, and this may have changed, but back when I was looking into becoming a personal trainer, to become a personal trainer, you have to get a certification that requires basically studying like you would for a class in college. It's a whole huge textbook. It is a very lengthy test that is very detailed and scientific. Basically, you're going to spend months studying for this test it's maybe possible to study for it in a month but i found that it took me because i wanted to take my time and make sure i was going in depth and learning every tiny nuance possible it took me somewhere between three to six months i can't remember but basically the same length as you would take like in a college class or something to become crossfit certified Again, this might have changed. This is based on what it was when I looked at it last. It's a weekend class. You go for two days, or I think it's two weekends. So you go to the class, you show up, you're certified. There's no proficiency, there's no test. You just, you go and you're certified. So how can these individuals who are CrossFit certified coaches be certain that they know the form and correct angle and all of the details about every exercise to prevent injury, they can't. So CrossFit can be extremely dangerous. Again, every single person that I know who's done CrossFit has gotten an injury from it. Um, now, can it be super safe? Absolutely. If the individual who is a CrossFit coach is also a certified personal trainer and is familiar with in detail about correct forms for various exercises, it can be super safe. 
but just the way that CrossFit is designed in general is problematic in my opinion. The idea is not to make sure that your form is absolutely perfect and to go as slow as it takes to make sure that you have great form. Instead, it's about how many reps can you get in as short of a period of time. That is a recipe for disaster. That's a recipe for serious injury. And then it also, on top of that, eventually becomes how many reps with the heaviest possible weight can you do in the shortest period of time. It's gonna, gonna lead to lots of injuries. And it does, and it has, and lawsuits. But anyways, I could babble about CrossFit forever. That's all I have to say for today. See you guys for tomorrow's video. Bye guys.